Alrighty folks, I'm Logan. I go by the stage name of Northwest Singer. Welcome to Guided by the Unsigned. So, I've already pretty much uh, failed on this mission. I have missed a week already and it's only the third like video so uh, sorry about that but I was in the studio on Tuesday last week and Wednesday I was recording at the lounge studio in Wigan with a guy called Gareth Nuttall recording a song that I've written called Keep the Faith which is all about Wigan Casino and the Northern Soul scene in Wigan yeah it was a brilliant experience I love recording with Gareth we're really lucky to have him on the doorstep really so if you're an artist in Wigan or in the north and you're looking to record I would 100% recommend Gareth he was the guy who recorded the K's album which got to number three in the charts very talented guy lovely guy as well and yeah we've worked hard on a song called Keep the Faith I'm really looking forward to it coming out I managed to get in touch with Russ Winstanley who was the DJ at Wigan Casino and he had a listen to it he's one of the only people who have heard it so far and he said that he thought it was great he really liked it so you know hopefully we'll be able to get him involved with the song or with the campaign in some way shape or form but yeah just to get the little nod from Russ was massive for me because it was down to him what got played and what didn't get played at Wigan Casino and uh, if it didn't pass Russ's test it didn't get played and uh, the fact that he's heard the song and he likes it is is amazing so that's uh, something I'm gonna buzz off for quite some time so I told you in uh, the first video that unfortunately my uncle passed away it's his funeral this week and that got me thinking what I could do this video about and something my uncle always used to say was how much so uh, that's what this video is gonna be about it's gonna be about how much you can charge so as I said I'm not talking about weddings I'm not talking about private functions or anything like that I'm talking about your bog standard pub gig which is two 45 minute sets or three half hour sets plus your encore which is about an hour and 45 minutes worth of music cover songs to be exact i'm going to treat this like i'm speaking to an apprentice somebody who's just starting out in this industry i've had this question quite a lot like how much do you charge how much uh, can you charge the best way I can put this is I've been doing this job for over 20 years now is there a fee for a solo act which is the most common fee that I've ever come across for the bottom dollar and the answer is yes have I gone out for less than this fee before yes I have do I charge this fee now no I don't but for somebody who's just started out with this industry I think this is a really really good fee to start on so if you're just doing pub gigs we're talking about 150 pounds is a great starting point for you that is the most common fee I have ever come across in the majority of pubs that's the comfort zone do pubs pay more yes pubs can pay more but for me if you're wanting to get more than your 150 you've got to bring value to the pub so you've got to have worked on your brand as in your stage name you've got to be a bit of a popular act somebody you can attract people into the venue where they know that they're going to make a killing on the bar if they're going to make a killing on the bar and they're going to get more revenue then obviously you can up your fee because you're the one who's worked hard to create that demand to get the bums in seats, to get people to come and follow you. That's the work that you've put in if you're the type of act like me who really promotes himself and that's when you can start upping your fee. But a great starting fee, in my opinion, is about £150. Charity events can work a little bit differently. Obviously weddings work completely differently. Any other private events work differently. But for a pub gig, a standard pub gig for one hour and 30 minutes plus your encore, I would definitely recommend 150 pound is a very, very, very good starting point. Something else that you can do is if a venue approaches you and says how much do you charge, you can always reverse it back and say, well, if you don't mind me asking how much is your budget and then you can see whether you want to work with that figure or not so it's just down to you so yeah as I said I've gone out for less before that's your choice I don't go out for that price now why because I've been working on building a following and bringing that following to the majority if not all venues that I play at it does take time to build that following but if you put the effort in and you connect with people, simple things like after your gigs, look, 
you're not gigging for a thousand people in pubs you know you could be gigging for about 30 people i'm not saying you need to go and intrude on those people but there's no harm in going around the venue after the gig and just saying listen thank you very much for listening i hope you're enjoying it and i hope to see you next time build those personal connections with people say to people i'm going to be playing here again in a month if you've got any song requests please let me know and i'd like to get them on the uh, the set list for you and that could be another initiative for those people to come back and watch you again because if you're willing to learn a song and you're willing to play the song that they've asked for they might come back and watch you because you've made the effort to learn the song that they want so yeah so there you go there you have it there's no secret to it a solid figure to start on for a solo act in a pub 150 quid so take away what you will i hope that helps you and yeah i'll be speaking about in other videos of wedding prices private function prices why they're a little bit higher or sometimes a lot higher and also i'll be speaking in other videos about how i build my following and why that's so important to build your brands so you can earn more money so yeah hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next video